130.6. Number two, 131.0. Wow, <laughs> that escalated fast. Number three, 130.4. Oh, that looked pretty hard. 594. Oh! 359. 225. Tied us so we can get in it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, the day has finally come. These much, guys, much anticipated. Oh, like, Wes has been just oh jacked up about frothing. this. We have all the broadheads that were sent to us and that we bought. We've got about, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars worth of broadheads yep. probably. Yeah, there's 40, 45, 46 heads. We have fixed heads. We have replaceable blade heads. We got expandables. We are going to do it up. We're going to test sharpness, basically lumped into four categories. Sharpness, durability, I'm thinking. Uh, accuracy. flexibility, that just, that's not even right. <laughs> accuracy, consistency, um, and sharpness again. Yep. So, so we got a bunch of testing to do. Garrett Weaver, he's going to be here after a bit. Uh, we're going to start off today. I think it's going to be the weight test and sharpness test. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're basically going to see, check them in and see, are they actually what they say they weigh? Are there any variances between them and seeing out of the package how sharp they are? So we got some fun tests. And then at the end of this whole thing, we're going to just see what we can blow up with them. Destruction mode. Yeah. That's my. That's going to be my favorite test. Yeah. The sharpness yeah. test, probably not going on there. Stay tuned for a good series. All right, so what we ended up, we were trying to think, how are we going to do all this test? How are we going to make it fair? So we came up with a spreadsheet. We've got all of them broke down into the three categories. And then we're going to record. So like on this one, the four categories, consistency, accuracy, penetration, durability. So consistency, we're gonna weigh all three broadheads. We're gonna take an average, and then we're gonna rank between each category. So um, in the fixed heads, we've got uh, 20 heads. So the highest scoring broadhead in, in consistency of weight and accuracy of their weight is gonna get 20 points. And then the second ranking broadhead is gonna get 19 points. So it'll basically be at the very end of this whole deal. We'll have a grand total point uh, system award. So there's no opinion based on whether we think this one's good or not. We're just gonna go by the facts that we record here. So this sheet is gonna be downloadable. We'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out and uh, share it with your buddies. So we, th we thought that these were 125s if we take off this collar. Actually, they're 175. It looks like about, I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna take off the collars. We do have a 150 category and we'll throw these in the 150 category. So these are just a little collar that comes off. And now let's see what we got. 148, so we're close. So anyway, we'll still. One, so 148 for the first 148 weight. for the dirt nap. Okay, second weight. 149. 149.8. 149.8. Third one. 147.4. 147.4. So for control here, we have, we just kind of implemented a little box idea just for wind, even a little tiny breeze will, you know, be 0. 0.0 something or other um, grains. So anyway, so that's why we're, we've got the box up just to kind of protect. There is no wind out, but we want to make this as equal and as fair for everybody as possible. Cheap shot. First one, 124.6. Two. 125.2. Three. 125, two. All right. Iron will, number one. Iron will, number one. One, 24, four. 127, two. 126, eight. Oscott, number one. 125, two. 125, four. 125 on the money. Ozcut, two blade. 128, two. Ooh. 128, four. Number three, 127, six. Kudu, 125s. 
25, 6. Okay. Number 2, 25, 4. 25, 4. Northern Evo. Number 1, 24, 4. 24, 8. Tw uh, 24, 6, excuse me. 24, 6. Okay. 24, 6. Northern Broadheads, wide cut. Go for one. 25, 4. 26, 4. 25 on the money. Uh, 24, 8. So yeah, these are the uh, Trophy Taker ATACs, but they only come in, in packets of two, and that's that's all we got. So we'll just average average out the two that we got and go with it. ATAC number one, 124.4. TAC two, 123.8. We have Tooth of the Arrow, 124.6, 124.6. Uh, 124.8. Exhale time. 125.8, uh, 6. 125 money. 125.8. Annihilator Broadheads. Annihilator 1. 126.6. 126.2. Okay. G5 Montex. 123.6. 23.8. Oh, wow. 24. These are the VPA two blades. 26-2. 27-2. VPA 125 three blades. 27-4. 28. 26-2. Van... Van Diemen. I'm thinking, right? No? I think so. Vandy Man? Van Demon. Van Demon 1. Van Demon 1. 23 0. 23 6. 24 0. So, this is the Valkyrie Broadhead. Uh, these are 150s. They don't make any less than 150s in Valkyrie. So, we are going to test these. We have a certain test. We are. I showed you some just a little bit ago in the 150 range. So. These will be tested, um, anyway, with a whole different class, but at the same time, we thought we should throw them in the test because a lot of people shoot them. They're supposed to be a really good broadhead. Valkyrie numero uno, going for 150 here. 53.2. 153.2. 150. 52, 4. 53.4. Okay. Expecting high hopes here. Bone, Bone broadheads. Broad 130.6. Number two, 131.0. Wow, <laughs> that escalated fast. Number three, 130.4. So these are the eBay dirt naps. These are, someone bought these off of eBay and then sent them to us. These aren't real dirt naps, but I don't know if they're a knockoff. I don't know what's going on, but they look like a dirt nap. They have that collar, remember? We have that little unscrewable collar thing. So, but we're gonna throw them in the test. eBay dirt naps. Yeah, so this is like uh, over this oh, overseas. I don't know something yeah. made that not not. I don't know. It's it's a knockoff dirt nap. That's what it is. One thirty one eight. One twenty seven four. One twenty nine two four. One twenty nine four. Okay. Okay. Day six Evos. Numero uno. Day six Uno. 125 on the money. Sweet. 125.2. 125.2. So what we did, we averaged, we did three of each. There was only one broadhead that only had two actually in the package, but everything else had three. Averaged the weights of them, and we will classify those in a sheet right now for you guys so you guys can see it. Um, anyway. And we're going to do a, we got a difference. There was some that were a little bit shocking, honestly. But most of them were all right in there in the 125, 124, 126, somewhere in there. So we're going to move we're in the shop. It's super bright out here right now. We're going to kind of move in the shade of the shop end so it's a little more controlled environment with a little bit of a tiny breeze that's coming up that could tickle the scale. So yeah, next it's going to be replaceable blades. So we're going to weigh all the replaceable blades that we've got. And then after that, we're going to do the expandables. So. 
So we were sitting here going through all these broadheads and thinking, well, shoot, Cody and I both shot Stricklands last year. We did not, we don't have any brand new out of the package Stricklands this year. I don't know why we don't, but um, anyway, this is what we both shot last year and, and shot our elk with. So we just grabbed some from Cody's, um, Cody's spare bow case. We just grabbed some out of Cody's bow case where these have been kind of bouncing around in his, in his case in a little package. Uh, not the original packaging that it comes with, but we're gonna test them anyway. Strickland Helix, they're called. Number one. Strickland number one, 25-2. 25-2. Consistent. Number three, 25-2. We are moving on, so. We just did all the fixed blades. Right now we're gonna do replaceable blades. So starting with the shuttle T's and then we have a whole, a whole gamut. So shuttle T's, replaceable blade category starts right now. Okay, shuttle T number one. Number one. 123.4, 23.2, 23.6. All right, 125, uh, Hardaway Daltons. Number one, 25.6, 25.2. Okay, that's all we got for that. Slick trick number one. Slick trick number one. 127, 127.6, 127.4, 127.2. Wow, and comfort. There you go. Reaping the glory. Okay, Grim Reapers. Thirty dollars a pack. One twenty-eight eight. One twenty-seven zero. One twenty-eight four. Ramcat. These things are looking pretty violent. Numero uno. One twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. They're packing heat. Twenty-eight six. Twenty-four. Wow. Twenty-eight four. So next up is the Muzzy Trocar. Muzzy Trocar. 25 2. 25 2. 25 money. Really? Okay, Muzzy 3 blade. Some more assembly required on these bad bears. Muzzy 3 blade. Muzzy 3, go. 123 6. 124 zero. Number three. 123.8. So still in the replaceable blade category, we are interlock broadheads. They're stainless. 125 six. 125 four. 125 eight. Nice. Okay, next up. Wasp Archery, the boss. Boss. 23 eight. 25 on the money. I love it. 24-4. Okay. Rival, three blade. It's got Phelps' name on the back. We'll see how this does. Rival, three blade, number one. 125-4. 125 on the money. Whoa. Phelps. Phelps, pulling through hard. 25 on the money. Number 25 on the money. Uh, 24-8. 24-8. Underhead. Twenty-six six. One twenty-six point. And six. blades fell off. One twenty-six eight. One twenty-seven. One twenty-seven. G five striker. Okay. G five striker. G five striker. 128, 124, 6, 25, 48, 48. 124.8. Okay, QAD Exodus, number one, 294, 28.2, 29.4. I can't remember, I think these were the Thunderheads. They come with an actual band aid, which actually I need because I already, <laughs> I already cut the crud out of my finger twice um anyway so here's where we're at guys we got done with the replaceable blade, blade category and we are moving on to expandable category this is what we got here got kind of a plethora 
none of us have ever shot expandables because they haven't been legal here in Oregon. So this year, actually they are legal. So we're gonna throw them in the test and see how they do. Okay, next in the wicked list, Zeus. 24, four, 24, six. 27 2, 23 6. We've got Swacker with my boy Hank Parker on it. I got to meet him on the bus. It's not a big deal if you didn't. Oh well. 24 2. Yeah. 23 4, 23 6. NAP. NAP Spitfire 125. 126 6. 126 6. 27 4. Next up, uh, Gravedigger Blood Sport. Or maybe it's the blood sport grave dirt. Not sure. 24-4. Ooh. 24-0. 25-4. So I'm just going to say it right now. Winner in the uh, packaging category for the expandables is Sever. Normally you got something going on like this. They bring the heat with like a real briefcase box style here. <laughs> and they also sent us a dozen or ten. A dozen of these things. So, and then they come out in these cool little woohoos, randomly selected from the right to left. Sever! Number one, four, sever. Number one, 120.6. 120.6. Consistency is key. 120.4. Next up, the Rage Hypodermic. 126.6. 127.2. 127.6. We've got the Dead Meat G5. 129. 128. 129. Uh, sorry. 28.8. 29.2. Wow. Coming in hot. NAP. Kills on. Kills on. Number one, 130, 130. They felt pretty heavy. 30. The most accurate so far of the test. Five grains hot, but still <laughs> accurate.